Hello and welcome to another Try Tutors video. In today's video we have another 5 minute poetry lesson. Remember the intention of this lesson is not to teach you the poem or to go through every single detail, but it is merely a 5 minute review. Today we're going to look at first day after the war. We heard the songs for wedding party, we saw a soft light. So first day after the war is about the end of apartheid, the war being apartheid, and we start off using the first person plural inclusive pronoun we, which is really significant because this emphasizes unity and solidarity. And we actually see it repeated in line one and two, and then also to start lines 12 through 15. And that is a technique, a poetic device called anaphora, the repetition of a word or phrase at the start of subsequent lines which emphasizes the sense of unity and this joy this is a very joyous poem the tone is celebratory the mood is um, joyful so we heard and we saw both of those are using the senses so the speaker is really immersing the reader within the celebration songs has positive connotations a wedding party also very positive a wedding is the unification of two families it's a time for celebration this is a time for celebration we have finally um got to a point where apartheid has ended a party is also positive we saw a soft light it's almost like the light at the end of a tunnel coiling round the young blades of grass so the use of coiling is quite interesting here because um, usually I would associate it with something negative like a snake coiling but here we see it as being just all immersive and all encapsulating the young blades of grass. Grass whenever you use natural imagery it's showing a sense of something is right and these are young blades of grass because this is a young democracy. This is 1994 the end of a party this is a young democracy that we are dealing with. At first we hesitated then we saw her footprints. And so this hesitation is understandable because this war went on for so long. It was almost unbelievable that this freedom would happen. And then we're going to have the personification of freedom. And personification always emphasizes the power of the idea or the concept that is being personified. And so here we have her face emerged and her eyes of freedom. And we have little bits of her emerging we first have the face and we have the eyes to show how freedom is creeping up on them and they're growing in excitement um, all these people that are celebrating emerged is also this connotation of something godly or something spiritual and so freedom being personified is really effective in conveying the joy and the power of freedom she woke us up with a smile saying, what day is it that comes suddenly? So she woke us up. She woke us up from this slumber of, you know, living under this oppressive regime. And this word suddenly is almost similar to that idea of waking someone up. It's this idea that this is, um, you know, or this hesitation that this was sort of unbelievable. We said it is the first day after the war. Then without waiting, that alliteration emphasizes the anticipation and the excitement. We ran into the open space and the open space indicates there's now no rules, no oppressive regime. You can just, people can just be themselves. They can run around, do whatever they want. Ululating to the mountains and the pathways. So praising and singing the mountain, the pathways. Notice all the natural imagery. Natural imagery, as I said before, always indicates a sense of righteousness. This is good. This is right calling people from all circles of the earth this is really important because usually we would say corners of the earth but a corner is a point and it's something that's restrictive whereas a circle is all-inclusive and this is a celebration and we see it in line 16 again people from all lands so the end of apartheid is not just significant for south africa which obviously it is but also for the rest of the world we shook up the old man demanding a festival festival like a wedding party joyous celebration we asked for the first fruits of the season. So um, even in Judaism, we have a, um, a festival about the first fruits. It's this big festival. Um, it's exciting. It shows rebirth, renewal. We held hands with a stranger. And so if you think about those images of the 1994 elections where everyone of all different races was standing in lines and talking to each other for the first time um, out of this oppressive regime, then we can understand this image with a lot more clarity. We shouted across the waterfalls. There's this immense joy. It's not just we are talking, we're shouting, we're so excited. People came from all the lands. It was the first day of peace. So it was the first day after the war in the title and um, in line eight where there was still 
um, this hesitation and now there's this idea, okay, we're moving forward into a new chapter, the first day of peace. And then the last sign is really significant. We saw our ancestors traveling tall on the horizon. So ancestors are very important in African traditions and they are capitalized here to indicate their importance. And on this day of celebration, obviously the fight against apartheid took many years. And so um, people had given up, they have given up their lives for the struggle um, and people who had passed on. And so this idea that they're traveling tall and that alliteration emphasizes the pride of these ancestors as they're looking down upon um this new generation of South Africa who has of South Africans who have achieved democracy. I hope that that was helpful.